Stellenbosch, one of the very first regions where wines were planted, uh, vineyards were planted in South Africa. And not a lot of people know that our history goes back over 350 years of, of winemaking. So I'm in the heart of the premium winemaking region in South Africa. So the vineyard I represent is called Oldenburg, uh, about eight kilometers from the center of Stellenbosch. It's just over the Hellswuchter Pass, so it's got quite a nice elevation. Some of the vineyards are planted about 300 meters above sea level. The top of Rondekop is over 400 meters above sea level. And it gives us uh, some microclimates uh, all around the hill that if you plant the right varietals on this hill, uh, you will get some unique pockets of, of, of microclimate and terroir, which produces really unique grapes, which gives you options to either blend uh, into a, a blend or as we do a lot of single varietals as well. Oldenburg can uh, produce some of the best, best wines that South Africa has to offer. And that's always been our drive, is not to produce as much as we can, but to, to produce really top class quality wines. Uh, so family run boutique winery, you can just about say in the heart of the Stellenbosch winelands. Probably the one that's got the most interest to you is the Syrah that's just been uh, launched at the System Bulaget. But we produce mostly uh, Bordeaux varietals and we also, as I say, have Syrah. And on the white side we only have Chenin Blanc, which is a quite a, a popular South African grape and, and people are beginning to make really premium wines from, from Chenin Blanc. There's a Chardonnay, there's a Cabernet Sauvignon and also an older vintage of the Cabernet Sauvignon. Now some of the Syrah that, that's now in the system Bulagat is planted right on the top of Rondekop. Mm -hmm. People who used to drink uh, lower priced wines from South Africa are now willing to pay the same price that they pay for some French and Italian wines which I think is a great positive. I'm seeing some of the top, top South African wines represented in the Swedish market but not at a discounted price at the price that they should be selling at. So that to me is an endorsement of the quality we're producing and that to me is very positive. Food and wine pairing is always a very personal, uh, personal choice. I prefer my red wines with, with red meat but uh, the last couple of years you've seen people drinking red wines with fish, they're drinking it with pasta. I think the Syrah stands up to, to any, uh, any food with, with good spiciness and, and quite strong flavours uh, because the Syrah is also uh, quite a spicy wine. Uh, but the nice thing about our Syrah is because it's elegant and it's got quite a balanced, balanced comp context, uh, it's easy to drink this wine on its own as well and I think that's the, the mark of a good wine.